What's up, guys? So if you were in the stream earlier today, I uh, mentioned that I wanted to open a new position in BNGO. Uh, if you've been following the channel, I recommended BNGO back in April, um, and the market kind of, you know, stock basically tanked. Uh, I, I recommended June calls. Stock kind of tanked over the next month of May, um, but I just made a recent video because those calls kind of got revived. Uh, the stock ran up recently. I was able to cash those out for a profit, which was amazing because I thought the play was dead. Um, but I think I might have been early in April on, you know, kind of thinking that that BNGO was ready to make a run uh, back up to test the all-time highs of 15. Um, but I still think that it's going to. I think that the stock's moving in a positive direction um, from a technical analysis. And then fundamentally, um, you know, if you're unfamiliar with the company, there's a ton of videos and information already out there. Um, but basically, they have this Sapphire system that, you know, is, is they contract out to other research labs and uh, researchers. And it's really a game changer in the cancer research. Um, you know, it's being used in COVID research, among other things. And I think it could really be disruptive technology for the medical research uh, industry. So I believe in this company long term, fundamentally, um, you know, and I think that it has the potential to, you know, years from now be trading at maybe 10 times what it's at um, right now. Um, but on the short term, I also feel like, again, it's going to go test its all time high. So I just want to pull this up and I mentioned it in the. Uh, let's see here. So I mentioned this in the in the live stream earlier that I was looking to open a position today, and I am. Quick reference. So this was trading as a penny stock back in December. Uh, went on a nice run all the way up to 1574 in February, and then started to decline. Uh, you know that video I made in April. I thought this was going to be the breakout. Um, you know, and I, and I was looking for a bounce off this moving average to kind of continue upwards. Uh, I was wrong. Um, but I'm still thinking that it's going to go test this all-time high. This company is always releasing good news. They're always kind of, you know, entering into new contracts with the Sapphire system. And, you know, there's always good press releases coming out on it. Um, the only real change that I've noticed uh, recently, they hired a new C. CO, which is basically chief commercial officer and what his responsibilities are going to be is to really kind of push their sales and marketing and, and you know, um, get this thing out to more labs and, and get this Sapphire system among the other products that they have pushed out into the market. Um, you know, this guy's got years of experience kind of in this same medical research field. And I think this could be huge for the company's long term growth. Um, but in terms of short term play, like I said, I think with the recent momentum, it's got some, you know, crossed over on the MACD RSI just ran up and got a little bit into the oversold section, which is where I think we're kind of consolidating. Now, um, we might see a bounce off this daily SMA, or we might just continue to roll from here, but I'm thinking that this, you know, this is eventually going to go up and test this, uh, high 15 and either, you know, maybe bounce down. Or blow right through it. So what I'm looking to do right now is open both a long-term position in BNGO, um, which I'm going to do with the use of you know leaps like 2022s and 2023 um, contracts. Um, but I also think that shares are a safer play. Um, you know, especially where the price is right now at seven dollars and sixty-one cents. You know, you can get a hundred shares for seven sixty-one, and then when I pull up the option chain. You'll kind of see that um, you're really not getting too much leverage out of the leaps right now. So, um, but I'm also going to open up kind of my, you know, my gamble, my bet, my short term kind of lotto ticket type play with some August contracts, which will basically give us two months to kind of get up here and reach this $15 strike um, or even just play off the momentum. If we can roll up to like 12 and, and it looks like it's coming down and it happens soon enough. We should still be able to uh, cash in on the premium on those contracts. So let's pull up the option chain real quick. I'll show you what I'm looking at. And, you know, um, either way, uh, obviously, safer out options are always going to be safer. Or longer out options are going to be safer. Uh, but, you know, your earlier expirations are going to be cheaper. 
I'm going with August to give me two months. And I'm looking down here at this. Let me see if I can pull this up. At this $15 strike for August. So, um, you know, right now it's trading at, you know, roughly 60 cents. So that's $60 per contract. Um, you know, I'm probably going to look to grab these at the $15 strike because that's an area that I believe the stock is going to go up and test. Um, if it happens soon enough, I might wait to see if it blows through 15 and then maybe hold on to it. If it's getting closer to the expiration date, um, you know, I'd say about two weeks out from this August 20th date. So maybe, uh, you know, first week of August, I'll have to evaluate where this is at. And maybe if it's at 12, 11, somewhere in here, um, you know, then I, I'm going to look to just close it out or roll it forward. Um, but as I said, long-term potential, I'm really into this stock a, a lot. I think that, you know, buying shares is a good, is always going to be the best play, the safest play. Um, with that new C CCO that came in, it'd really be nice to get into at least two quarters of earnings and, and reports to kind of see what he's able to do. Um, so getting in on these uh, 2022s is really only going to give you access to quarter three, um, but it's a little bit cheaper. So if I was going to open up something with BNGO right now as a long-term play, um, I'm probably going to go in and grab this $10 strike at uh, two was the trade before on average two it's two hundred and thirty three dollars a contract so as opposed to me you know going in and buying and spending seven fifty seven fifty seven right now on a hundred shares I can grab three of these and basically have the leverage of three and I think this stock's going to be trading above ten um, you know in January if you know my break even is going to be about twelve bucks so shares are safer. Um, and then I also kind of feel the same way about the 2023s, you know, which basically gives us a year and a half almost. Um, but if I was going to come in and play these, I would probably go a little bit further out, um, you know, maybe out to like this $15 strike. Um, because now you're talking about giving yourself a year and a half by that time, it's going to be, uh, you know, I'm expecting that this stock is going to be trading at maybe closer to $30. I'm not an analyst. I'm not a financial advisor. That's just my assumption based on the, the movement of the stock and, and the fact that I think this is really just in a consolidation period off that huge run up from 50 cents to $15. So for me, um, 2023s, I would go further out just to take advantage of, you know, I can get in here and get these for $300 and I can grab, you know, basically the leverage of 300 shares for the same price as what I'd be paying for 100 shares today. Um, you know, but also I think you can't go wrong with shares with this stock, um, you know, and I, and I really do believe in the overall fundamental growth of this company uh, moving forward. And, you know, kind of my game plan for this is, like I said, I'm going to buy some August kind of lot of tickets, um, you know, right at that $15 strike as a price target. And then I'm going to go in and buy some 2022s and some 2023s at those uh, varying strikes that I said. And really what I'm going to be looking to do is use the money that I make off of the August uh, calls, you know, if those pan out, be able to cash that in and sell those and use that capital to uh, exercise these 2022s and 2023 so that I can start building a larger position with shares. So that's what I'm doing. Um, you know, I'm not always right. I've said that multiple times, but I do have a good feeling about this stock. And it's something that I'm looking to open a position in. So I know we talked about it in the live stream earlier. I just wanted to share, uh, you know, what I'm opening up in and what I'm looking to start going with BNGO. Um, have a great day. If you're free and you're catching this now, I should be back on for power hour at 12 o'clock uh, Pacific time. So, you know, what is that? Three, basically the last hour of market. If you want to come in and join us, um, this is my first week doing live streams. I'm having fun been getting more people in there and it's really a good time uh, to just kind of hang out and watch the stocks that we're, that we're into. Uh, have a great day and have a great weekend.